What's up? And welcome back to Opposites Attract Podcast. This is Sonia Ramirez, your girl, and I'm sitting next to Miguel Ramirez. What's up, everybody? How was your day? How was your week? How is your life going? Here in Arizona, we have the sun. Oh, it was hot today. Uh, I liked it. I'm it, so well, excited. It it, I'm sure I it got warm. So much energy. I got all this energy just bottled up. I don't know if it's the sun or the coffee. No. <laughs> It's because you're a sun baby. <laughs> I am a sun baby. It was great. Great day. Yeah. I was going to go sit out in the sun this morning. I'm like, wait a minute. We got kids games to go to. Yeah. You know? And so yeah, I'm like, cool. I better not do that because in Joey's game, we're out. Like yeah. we're out. Out in the sitting. field, in the baseball yes. field. And I have this little, I, we need to get some umbrellas. Cause that tiny ass little umbrella only covered my big head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? For the folding chair. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Speaking about the games. Yeah. The kids did awesome today. Yes. I am super proud. Like both of them just they absolutely, kicked butt. they did. They hustled, you know, they, they did their best today. Audrey and basketball like dominated, Non, like, yes. they, well, not dominate, but that team dominated. She yes. did the best that she's done. Dude, the score was. Yeah. It was lopsided, crazy. super lopsided. Yeah. yeah. It was like 20, what? 26 to It was like eight? 28 to eight. Yeah. Something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. So but they Audrey did. got, did she got, she got two baskets, one basket. She took three. She, she took a few shots. Yes. Which is getting better. Truly. Yes. Because That's Audrey awesome. is very, yeah, she was scared to shoot. She was just scared to shoot. You know, we got to work on shooting faster still. Yeah. Like not dribbling so much. Yeah. If you have a shot, take it. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, she did well. awesome. And I'm so grateful for her coach. Yeah. You know, because at he's, first, he's really good. you know, Audrey was intimidated because he he is stern, right? He's yeah. stern. Like he'll, you know, if he sees that there's something that needs some correction, like he's not afraid to voice it. And some coaches are a bit, you know, because parents are around and yeah. they don't know how the parent's going to take it. But I told his wife, I'm like, listen. I'm like, he is great for Audrey. I'm like, Audrey did say, you know, she wasn't feeling him at first because she said that he wasn't as positive. <laughs> but it's not the as positive. That's not what it is. That's what she said. Yeah. And um, and I said, well, hey, you need some of that in your life, yep. you know, because this is what's going to help you get better. And she's like, because <laughs> she knows. Yeah. But I told her I, today, I'm like, look at you. I'm like, look how good you're like the entire team like the Everybody first practice, the first game was like, oh my. <laughs> Dude, there was one kid that was just constantly on their team that was just constantly stealing the ball from the other team. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime they would get the ball, he would just steal it yep. and then start passing it around and they would start shooting. And Audrey was like that. Yeah, she did. She got a bunch of rebounds today too. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Yep. And and Joey did very well today as well, hustling yep. and especially him playing in the heat. Yeah, he got that. Some yeah. He doesn't do too well, like, in the heat. Yeah, he got some good hits. The kids mm -hmm. made some good plays. Yes. It was really good. You know, it was really cool that um, Audrey and I, she needed some stuff for school, and I decided, you know, I'm going to take her to Hobby Lobby. And yeah. we spent, like, how long were we there? Two, three hours? Yeah, you guys were Something gone for like a little that. bit. And it was so fun, like, just shopping with her and looking around and just spending that time with her. Yeah. You know, and then we picked up some decor for the bathroom and then we came back and we were like, I don't know how it started. I probably started it, but cause I like to wrestle, you know me, like I like yeah. to wrestle. I like to, and she knows jujitsu. So I just started messing with her and we were going at it. Yeah. Like we were messing. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, Did she put any moves we on were you? downstairs. I, I, we were downstairs. Right. And yeah, we were going back and forth and back and forth and, um, steep. I, I still remember some jujitsu stuff, even though I don't go. Like, oh, really? You know? Yeah. Like, I'm like, hey, let's take it upstairs. Tell me. Right? Oh, yeah. I told her, let's take it upstairs Damn. because of the the wood floors. That shit hurts. You're like, you want to take it upstairs? Yeah. And so the fort was up there, and I'm like, what the hell happened here? So then we went into the oh, room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So then I got her, and I was on top of her, and I'm like, okay, I'm thinking to myself, what can I do now? What can I do now? And she pulled her arm out. Like yeah. she went to like push me away and I'm like, I grabbed her arm and I went for an arm bar. That's and just because I, I was telling I was her, telling you about that this Listen, morning. Though, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was last night. Was it last when night? We were watching the fight. And so I got no, the, the arm. fights tonight. Uh, well, you know, the reality you show know? you jerk. So then I grabbed her arm and and I'm like, because 
I'm like, am I doing this right? And I asked her, she's like, no, mom, my thumb is supposed to be facing down. She told me, okay, hold up. And, and she knows better than me. Right. So then I face her or her thumb down when I'm doing it. And I'm like, Adriana, I'm like, that's not right. Cause her arm was just bending, you yeah. know, it's the opposite direction. It's a, Yeah. It's yeah. the opposite. Yeah. So I had it right the first time, Your but then she told me to it was wrong, you yeah. know? So she lied to me, but it was, it was fun. Like just, and she enjoyed it. Did she? That's so, cool. you know what? I'm like, I gotta go just so that I can help her get better. Yeah. Right. And yeah, she likes it. And she's like, she likes wrestling with me, you know, yeah. like, and I am asking her, well, what do I do next? You know, like just That's having good. her teach me. And so I'm like, you know what? We we're feisty together because she's feisty. Like she's feisty. And so am I. So I'm like, you know, maybe I'm just going to, you know, go, I don't know, Saturday mornings. I mean, I don't know. When can I go? They have sports Saturday mornings. You know, yeah. Yeah. You can't. Maybe if I don't have a signing during the evening, I can then go. Maybe one day, you we know, can or go. something, or at nine o'clock because they have they have a uh, jits at nine, right? What <laughs> they, they have, have what they got jits <laughs> at nine? Yeah, yeah nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So if I don't have a signing, then maybe I can go. Yeah, you know, so that I can learn because she so knows more so than So you're me. gonna go to jits by yourself if I don't have any signings at and nine? not all every day, not every day, okay. you know, but. If I'm available, Dang. you know, just to learn a little more because All then right. I can I'm going to start telling her, people that you're going to show up at nine know? instead. <laughs> you're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like one day out of the week. <laughs> one no? day out of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're talking shit. <laughs> no, that'd be but cool. But it would be because no, it would, if it would you, help if her. If you got into it, it would help her. You know? I'm sure it would. But I remembered some stuff. That's cool. Like, I'm like, okay, because how does shoot? I hate it doing that. Like shooting because, you know, like my knee, like maybe I wasn't doing it right, but my knee would land, yeah. you know, like you step and then you, you land on, you know, your knee. And I didn't like that. You're putting your back knee down. Yeah. Like anyway, here, right? whatever. Anyway. So, and, and Who gives so a shit You're talking <laughs> how to take people down. Hey, but it's fun. Wrestle with your kids. Yeah. Yeah. No, that is a good one. That is good. Wrestle with your kids. No, it was, it was a good day, you know? Yeah. No. And, uh, it's cool because Joey is also showing a lot of interest in baseball. And I was just talking mm -hmm. to my little brother, George, and he's big into baseball. Like, actually, he had just got done playing baseball in New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, they take it very seriously. And uh, he was just saying that he had a really great game. Mm -hmm. Like, he kicked ass today. Like, he said that they were talking shit in this group text. Mm -hmm. And he was the first hitter, went up and hit a home run. To start the game off mm -hmm. after they were talking <laughs> shit like all week. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that, yeah that's yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. But um, no. So with Joey, you know, we've kind of I, I, there's some people at work that their kids play baseball and softball and they take it pretty seriously. So mm -hmm. there's a couple places around here that they have, you know, some better training, like more professional training, not just yes. the recreational stuff. Right. You know, mm -hmm. so we're going to look into that and take Joey over there. So that he can check it out and, you know, maybe run some drills, like some real technique stuff. Right. You know, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So Audrey will be, our daughter is attending seventh grade next year. Yes. Woo! Are you, you don't, you don't look excited. <laughs> it's nerve wracking. I mean, we were talking about like just friends and, you know, how she's doing in school and she is a lot like me. Like she just. She has more boyfriends and girlfriends. Yeah. You know, and it's just how it happens. It's not that that's how she wants it to be. It's just how it works out. But she was talking to me about a conversation and something that was going on at school. And one of her friends, she said, is a lesbian. How like, old is her friend? Like six, her age. sixth grade? Yeah. Her okay. age. Okay. And everybody's really mean to her. Like. What? They're, they don't. It's. You know, they're just mean to her because she's a lesbian. They're like, that's not cool. You know, and Audrey said that she had told them, why is it not cool? She said, is it because society says it's not cool? Is that what she said? Yep. She said, well, in another, in another way. <laughs> like, but damn. that's what she broke. Yeah. That's how yeah, she broke much. it down. That I'm breaking it down well, that way every, just to simplify I mean, she could, it. Like everybody says yeah. it's not cool. 
She's like, that's good. What if society was okay with what, what if I see, I can't even word it the way she said it, but she said, what if that was the norm? Pretty much. That's what she said. What if that was the norm? There's still people that love each other. You would still be okay with that. Right. Like, you know, yeah. and I'm like, Adriana, that is so good. Like that was so good. And that's why I say like, she is a little shit sometimes, but it's just because she's a teenager. Like she's, she's going through those years, right? You were a little shit. I'm sure I was a little shit, but not hey. as much as you. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never forget you know? to point that out. <laughs> but like at the whole attitude yeah. and underneath all of the confusion that she's going through, She's still a beautiful little girl. Yeah. And that's what we really need to focus on because it's so hard at times to see that because she gives us so much shit at times. Right. Yeah. You know, but for her, she has a very kind heart, a very loving heart, and she will stick up for someone who's being bullied or being mistreated. She is very strong when she needs to be. She's not a fighter. She's a lover. She's like her mommy. Yeah. Yeah. But you know push what? her buttons, get her to a point where she has had enough and you are going to see a little girl that, a different little girl. Yeah. It, you know, and that's just how, she, and she's competitive though. She is, I don't feel that I am. Maybe I am to a certain point. I don't know. We had this conversation before. But yeah. that little girl's competitive. Like, she's just she, like, yeah, she, she wouldn't is. give up. When we started, I'm like, dang, I don't even go to Jits and I got you, girl. And she's like, oh, really? <laughs> she said, it's because you're stronger. I'm like, hey, well, that's why we're going to the gym. Yep. You exactly. know, that's why we're going to the gym. And she loves it. That's and cool. I love it, too. I love taking her with me and, and kind of showing her the ways. I try to get her to go today. And she's like, not doing it. Yeah. You know, but she you know has what? a great heart, a good heart. Since you mentioned like that, she's not a fighter mm -hmm. and that she's, you know, that, that she's, that she does have, like, she will stick up for her friends. Yes. Maybe we should share with her the story of Elio Gracie, which is the, one of the founders of jujitsu. Mm -hmm. And he didn't do jujitsu. From what I understand, he didn't do jujitsu because he wanted to fight. It was because he wanted to teach. Mm. he wanted oh, to teach people that's a good because one. uh yes. like jujitsu the way it can change your life but yes. for her also like if she has that personality mm. where she wants to stick up for people and wants to help you have to learn how to fight not so that you can fight but so that you can back your words up that even resonated with me on a whole different level seriously because i'm a helper right yeah. like i i tell you the same thing what, well, about I just me, actually right? heard it, but for me, yeah, <laughs> like how it could resonate with me, like yeah. you know, with jujitsu. Jujitsu, I'm telling you, yeah. Like for me personally, really. Let's let let me hear you break it down. For me personally, <laughs> to go against and fight, no, like no, yeah. it's not That's, something that drives me. What drove me to think about go, you know, making it happen, like going in there when I can. Right. Because I do enjoy it. It sucked that I went back and then business picked yeah, up and no, then I stepped back. It is what it is. You know, and then you don't let me go because you're you're forcing me out there to make money. You got to be it, babe. sugar mama, you got motherfucker. It. <laughs> That's, I'm going to make a fucking T-shirt. I'm telling you. You suck now, ass. No, no, dude, ever but since wait, wait, I mentioned. Don't let me. Anyway, hold sorry, on. Go okay. Ahead, go ahead, go. Think about. Don't, okay. don't lose that. Okay. You got it. But when, I, when I'm seeing her <laughs> and we're working together and we're having fun, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I could go back maybe twice a week to teach her. Yeah. Right. So it was more about her, but it was more her. about her. Yes. Yeah. So when you just said that, I'm like, I can use that in different aspects of my life, like the gym. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To motivate myself is just learn this so you can help others. Yeah. Well, you know, like, like I've told you, I like that. That is one of the things about jujitsu that I like the most. Is like helping other people mm -hmm. and helping the kids and coaching the kids yes. and not just the kids. Cause I tell you all the time, like today I had a brand new guy, yes. brand new. Mm -hmm. Like I like getting the brand new people That's and not, cool. not so that I could beat the shit out of them, but like in between, yeah, you, you know, I try to tell mm -hmm. them like, Hey, keep your hands here. Cause if you put them down, you're going to be in trouble Yeah. or like do that. Like just the little things mm -hmm. that will help them in the beginning. 
Yes. Like, don't hold your breath when you're doing the move all the time. Try to breathe. Right. Because you're going to you're going to wear yourself out. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, you know, just the little things. Yeah. But the thing is that in order to be able to actually teach people and for them to listen mm-hmm. and it's kind of like not be a hypocrite is you got to throw down. Right. Like yeah. you got to make these things work. Mm-hmm. You got to work them. Yeah. You got to lead. Yeah. Damn. For show, for Hold show. Up. You're you're too late. No. <laughs> I dropped that shit on myself. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> that one, you got two of them because it was jujitsu. Shoot. <laughs> so, um, I've been spending a lot of time with Audrey. Yeah. And I love it. I, I thought you were going to say money and I was going to be like, you got it. That too. Yeah. You got it. Shut up, jerk. <laughs> so, everyone. Okay. So, you know, we did pretty well last year. I won't say how well, but I can tell you it's absolutely just mind It was blowing. good. It, it, yes. All right, chill. It was good. Yeah. And, um, you know, Miguel's been freaking shopping. Look at his what you, new shoes. Hey. Look you at know? This. Yeah. Ooh, like, look at them kids. He bought a For gi. those of you watching. Mm-hmm. He oh, yeah. A gi. My fucking astronaut his gi. Astronaut gi. And that was pretty oh, expensive. Oh, I got to tell you. I got to. No. Oh, yeah. Where are your new glasses, buddy? Oh, yeah, I got some new glasses, <laughs> some sunglasses. Those are nice, too. Hey, why are you? Let's talk about all the shit that you bought. So, hold up. Let me pull up the Amazon hold history. Up, hold up. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't even shop a lot on no, Amazon, so. You don't. What I it, don't even shop a lot, period, so dude, don't even you, go there. Hey, you went shopping this morning, oh, and yeah. then before we started For the podcast, before we started the podcast, Audrey thought you guys were going shopping again <laughs> after the podcast. That was for the house. <laughs> <laughs> but no, how, we've lived in this house for four years. But and either way, I have not bought decor for our bathroom. Come that's on not now. what it. Yeah, no, we we do. But anyways, we'll go somewhere, and I'll be like, "Hey, you know, should I buy this?" He's like, "Yeah, babe, you got this. You got it." Or we'll go out to eat, and he's not looking at prices on the menu, and I'm like, "Hey, how much is this?" It's stuff? a fucking joke now. It I'm doesn't like, matter, you babe. It. You got this. I'm like, what the hell? Like, serious uh, right now? Uh, yeah. So anyways, I was um been spending a lot of time with Audrey. Been great. I, I just, I, yeah, it's been really good. And we were up in her room and we were talking and she was talking about how she's been watching these TikTok videos, okay? Uh-oh. And she's like, mom, did you know, because I don't know what I told her. I was something about her room and I moved my head a certain way. And she copied me like she copied what I said and my head movement. And then she did something about she copied you about something, something that you was I yelling discipline or something. But she did it exactly like you. Yeah. Like she I'm sure she makes fun of us with her friends. I'm sure she does. She does. And she's good at it. There's probably a lot of shit. Yeah. And she's good at it. And she's like, did you know that that's a mom thing? And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah. When you tell us to clean the room and you come in here, she's like, there's TikTok videos that are mom TikTok videos and every mom does that. I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah. She's like, it's a mom thing, you know? But she was talking to me about, we got into a conversation and I asked her if she wanted to have kids. And she said, yes. And I said, Adriana, what kind of mom are you going to be? Yeah. And the things that she started to say are the things that I've been doing with her, the things that I do with her. And I'm like, that's cool. So you feel that I'm a good mom. I'm I'm getting, I can feel my emotions (laughs) all bubbling up. I'm like, shit. (laughs) And she's like, well, if I'm going to, um, she's, she said something like, well, if I'm going to raise, if I'm going to treat the kids the way you treat me, then yeah. Like she couldn't just say yes. She had to say like, well, what I'm telling you is pretty much what you do, you know, yeah, instead yeah. of just saying yes. And That's she's cool. telling me all these things. And man, I just looked at her because I know you and her have been having a hard time connecting these days. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I look at her and I'm like, Adriana, I'm like, you have an amazing dad. I'm like. You have no idea. I said, do you remember when you were little and he would take you to go get your nails done and he would tuck you in and he would take you outside and he showed you how to ride a bike 
you know, and he showed you because I wasn't around back then that much. You were, I was trying to no. chase, I was chasing success and you were putting them to bed every night and you were, you know, doing everything Someone, no, yeah, like a we, lot of we still it, like together. a lot. Yeah. But you did a lot we still work together and I'm sharing this with her and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know how we go to Costco and we buy drinks and snacks for the homeless and we go out there and we feed the homeless. I'm like, that wasn't my idea. Cause she was giving me all the credit. No. I'm like, that was your dad's idea. And her face just got, and she looked at me. And then I said, you know how we feed family that we've uh, feed a family on Thanksgiving. Like we took the girls and she said, yes. I'm like, that was your dad's idea. And she's like, looking at me and she's like, why didn't you tell me? No. Yeah. I'm like, because I didn't think I had to. But because of me, I'm always the one, be kind, be kind, be kind, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, and it's with every husband <laughs> and, I, and I'm just being and a dick every wife. Everywhere. It is. Yeah. We are the nurturers. We are the ones, but you're very nurturing too. But I think it's switched. You were more of a nurturer than me. You, I learned a lot from you. Like you were more just for me. I felt you were more loving, more cuddling. And I was the parent that then when they would fall, I would laugh. You did. <laughs> you used. I did. You, you still do sometimes. I do. It's funny. The, the kids would be fucking themselves up. They'd be like splattered. I'm talking about, it's not like a nice fall. It's like a concussion fall. No, and Sonny would fucking laugh. Up. I'm like, dude, shut they might've hurt themselves. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come here. She's like, ah. But I was just, and I don't know if that's just the independent part of me. Like, get your ass up. Why are you crying? Look at Sonia. But you would go over there. <laughs> yeah, but you would go over there and you would wipe their knee off. Like, you were just so, I felt that you were more caring and nurturing. But I felt like, I now I feel like it's changed a bit. Right? Maybe, yeah. And so, but that's the way dads are supposed, like, that's a... That's how dads are supposed to be, though. Like, you guys are the firm, um, I don't know how to put this. Yeah. Like, I discipline them as well. But you're just strong. Like, you have a stronger personality. You're a man. I'm a woman. Yeah. I'm playing my know. role now. Because yeah. before, I didn't play my role. Yeah. Stay, <laughs> right? in, your, stay in your lane. <laughs> I was harder. I was harder, I think. And I'm, I've gotten more softer. You, have. you definitely have. Yeah. yeah. And I've gotten a lot more softer. And so when I'm sharing this with her, you know, she's looking at me and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you don't, what did I told her? What did I tell her? I told her something like, you don't give your dad enough credit. Thanks, babe. You know? And I think that with you and her, it's about growing that relationship. And the way you grow that relationship is spending time with her. Not talking to her how she can do basketball better. Not about how she can do jujitsu better. I, yeah. Not how she can be better at school. It's like, forget all of that. Like, let me do that. Because you need to mend this relationship or build it. You know what I'm Again, saying? Yeah. So let me be the hard ass. So when something comes down, let me be the one to tell her. Yeah. You know? No, I got to, it, it's tough. It's been tough. And but just, thank you for yeah. talking to her. And that's, then, you know, do the dates again. And that, yeah, I, I need to do more of yes. that. Yes. And, and the thing is, like I told you, when we were talking about that, like I have such a hard time. I don't know. I just think that these are things that you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? What do you mean? You, what like, like, like all these things that you're talking about that, <clears throat> excuse me all these things that you talk about that you said that they're my idea or whatever, like I, it to me, like, yeah, it's nice. And there is for anybody that doesn't say like, there is a, it, there is a selfish component of it because doing it does well, make yes. you feel good. Yes. It you did, know? Yes. But at the same time, I don't know. Yeah. I, I think you're just supposed to do that in, in yeah. silence. You're not supposed to be right. bragging about no, what you're doing. I totally and, get and it. And we said that, 
you know, one of the goals that we had for this year was to do something for somebody else every month. Yes. And we haven't missed. And I haven't really talked about it. Yeah, we don't talk we about don't it. We don't talk about no. it, really. And that's not something and you're supposed, like, something but, you're supposed to boast about. You no, don't, you're it's not. It's not about boasting. When you share something, and this is the family thing, but the thing of it is, no, you and I are a team. There's yeah. not like, oh, that was my idea. Oh, no. no kind no, of no. deal. No, yeah, we don't. If but, it's a good idea, it's a good idea, and we're going to do right, it. Right, but I felt that she needed to know your heart. Yeah. Because she doesn't. She doesn't. She probably, see. she's like dad's ideas were let's join jujitsu and get the yes. shit beat out of us. She doesn't see the loving, caring you. Yeah. And you need to show that and just be more open with her and have those conversations with her. And, yeah. you know, so she can see that side of you. So I don't, it, it's tough though, right? Like that, what I'm talking about, that yeah. balance. Yeah. Because in a way, like when we were talking about it, I, I do feel like you shouldn't really be putting it out there for recognition. Right. The times like that I've done it before, like when I would send out the packages to the troops and stuff like that. They were so it little was, at that time. It was time. always, well, but I would post stuff. I would usually post stuff, but it wasn't like a post stuff like, hey, look at me, I'm sending out packages. Right. It's like, hey, if you want to send out packages, yes. you can also send out packages. Yes. People need help. Yes. You know, you can help people here. Yes. And I think that's, I mean, I, I guess maybe that's how you do it with... Mm -hmm. Because it does, in a way, inspire people to also do it yes. when you find out about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you shouldn't brag about it. No. Yeah. I don't know. It's just one of those character things. Well, yeah. No, I think that we're doing it, you know, the right way. I think, you know, like, and I think we're doing it the right way. I mean, maybe we can, like you said, to inspire others to do the same. They may have not thought about you know, certain yeah. things that maybe we've done that we can give them ideas. And one thing that, you know, since we've watched a lot of earth, like uh, space, earth documentaries, yes. nature documentaries, right. stuff about the ocean and pl the planet and all kinds of stuff. We've seen a lot of stuff about it. And um, there is some things that we see that are not very good, Ooh, yeah. you know, and it's um, depressing. you know, that's another thing that I was thinking about is like not just doing something for somebody else. Yeah. Maybe we can add doing something to better the planet. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't pick, know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm going to turn into a fucking no, hippie. Exactly. You look know, at your but, shoes. <laughs> yeah. Look at my shoes. We'll talk you. about that in a minute. I'm rubbing off and, on and, you. And we'll tell you where you guys can pick up some <laughs> shoes and help out the podcast at the same time. Yeah. See, but, but that's why we're good for each other. Yeah. Because you are going to be a little hippie soon. No. Like one of the things that <laughs> this isn't for the planet or anything, but like you were talking about how you just love the old people. Yeah. You love talking to the old people. Yes. I and love. Yes. I don't know if you mentioned it. What it was. I was listening to Bill Soroka's podcast, I think. Side Hustle Lounge for those of you that want to check it out. But uh, I think he it was the first episode and they were talking about the different types of notary that you could do. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you can get into is like hospice or Ooh, like there's like certain things that. that but I think you mentioned it also. But I was just when when that kind of when I heard it, mm -hmm. I was kind of thinking like, well, I know that you can visit people yeah. in hospice. Mm -hmm. And I was like, for that person, that is probably a, a huge impact. Yes. You know, because they're at that point in their yes. life and for you to spend some time with them, mm -hmm. you could yeah. make a difference. You know, I was mentioning volunteering at the group home because Serena, what it was? Our, my niece, works at one. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. She works at one. And speaking of it that. It was the, uh, yeah, the the little painting picture things that you want to do with them. Yeah. The dime, they're called a diamond art. Diamond art something or other. It's like a craft that yeah. you want to do with them. Yes, yes, but, yes. You know, I was like, you know what? I'm going to look into it. And mm -hmm. I did. I started looking and I found a couple that are in the area. Yeah. But, you know, we know with COVID, COVID and everything, we got to see yeah. what we can do. But, but I'm excited we'll to it. do that. because So, yeah, because I but, have already someone who's going to donate several of those art pieces or whatever so we could go and do it. That's cool. You know, and I was thinking like maybe veterans or something like that. Yeah. You know, I can talk to them and maybe we have something in common. Yeah. All you have to do for those of you watching is think about think about what you're passionate about. You know, think about what's something that, you know, that you're excited about doing and uh, offer your time. 
Yeah. Volunteer your, you know, your knowledge or, or your time. And, you know, if you love children, there's so many like foster, um, like group homes and right now is, yeah. a, is a bit tough, but I mean, it seems like, you know, we're working on coming out of this. I'm excited. Well, there, you know, Ugh. we're, we're all at different places yes. and depending on where you're at, you can do what you can. Yeah. You know? Yep. So. Fo show, fo show. But speaking of uh, turning into freaking hippies, for freaking hippies, uh, we got some new shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, I uh, made. So I needed some sneakers because I had some sneakers upstairs that I've had mm-hmm. for a while. They look really beat up, and uh, I wanted to replace them. And I kept hearing about these. I don't remember. I must have listened to a podcast before, or heard it somewhere about these barefoot sneakers. Mm-hmm. They were talking about the benefit of these shoes and all this stuff. And pretty much what they were saying is like your feet were like they have muscles, they have tendons, they have all kinds of stuff in them. Mm-hmm. And they were meant to like feel the terrain like your balance comes from your feet. But we put this, you know, pretty Big much ass. like a platform yeah. with cushion and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And it takes away all of that. And yes. it also, you know, a lot of times people have knee problems, back, back problems, problems, all that problems. Kind of stuff. like sciatica. Yes. I don't even know. Yes. Maybe it might help. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Look it up. Yes. But apparently there's a lot of benefits to walking barefoot. Like it activates all your toes, all the muscles. Mm-hmm. Like if you just think about it, if you step on a rock well, with a about, shoe. Yeah. Back in the day, cave people. No. Well, if you were to, <laughs> well, just think about it. If you take this coffee cup and lay it down uh-huh. and you step on it and the coffee cup sideways and you have a shoe on, your sh- your foot is just flat on the top of the coffee cup. But if you're not wearing a shoe, your foot yes. starts to wrap around it. Right. Right. And that's like what it's supposed to do. No. So they have these shoes that don't have much of a sole. Right. And they they call them barefoot shoes, minimalist mm-hmm. shoes, or uh, zero drop shoes. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, they don't have a sole. And it's just like a little bit of tread. But your heel, your foot, and everything is just kind of flat. So Miguel was talking to me about these shoes and he showed me them and I'm like, oh, they're interesting, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, they look like water shoes. No. <laughs> so, yeah. So Sonia was, she was so excited and I, and you know, I know you guys can freaking see them here, but um, they do resemble like water shoes. Like yes. if you go to the pool or if you're going to go hiking at like a lake or a river or something mm-hmm. like that, you probably wear some shoes and they can be used for that. Uh, but at first, uh, Sonia was so excited to get her shoes and then all of a sudden you get your water shoe you you get your shoes yes and you're like they look kind of like water shoes but then you wore them yeah like i wasn't too excited i'm like uh you know they're not cute like they're just not cute yours are a little different you know and um yeah you guys can see them and so they're they're not cute. And most of the time, those that know me, I am I love hills. Like yeah, that's what I, I wear. Think, I didn't think you were gonna wear them much. Yeah, like I just I love hills. I love the way they make me feel. And uh, so, anyways, I get these shoes and I try them on, and I'm like, these are comfortable. Yeah. And then the following day, I wear them to the gym, and I'm like, holy shit. Because I'm jump roping, right? I'm yeah. jumping. And usually I can dance. Like I'll dance while, you know, you're jump roping. while I'm jump roping. I love it. So much fun. But I felt off. Like I didn't, I, I, it didn't feel natural. With these shoes on? Right. But when I just started jumping, like just jumping, no dancing, just regular jumping, yeah. I can feel my, the, my muscles working. Like it was challenging and I loved it. Like I could... I felt every muscle. Yeah. And I'm like, this is great. Then I went to do squats and I was working out on my legs and I can feel every muscle, like everything. Yeah. And I felt so, um, what's the right word? Like my like form. Plant, like my, you were planted. Planted. Yeah. Yes. And it, it was just great all the way around. And even though I didn't have a very long workout, yeah, I felt like I worked out for an hour but it was only actually half an hour yeah you know and then i came home and i'm like i'm wearing these to my (laughs) i didn't care how i looked i'm wearing these to my appointment you look good you know because i was wearing like yeah but i feel they they make me feel a little old though right because you would think like old people would wear these shoes yeah but i'm like you know what i don't give a shit like i don't care like if this is good for me 
Yeah. Right? My sciatica, I Look haven't felt it. it. Really? I haven't felt Good. my sciatica. My back, I thought, was really, because whenever I walk barefoot for too long, my back starts to hurt, which is yeah. weird, though. Maybe this is just getting me used to not wearing heels, because I wear heels all the time. So my foot, I'm adjusting. It's the, yeah, the angle of your heel. Yes. But when I put these on, like, I just feel a lot stronger. That's so stupid, right? Yeah. Like in my hip. You're not supposed to agree that that sounds stupid. You no. sound stronger. <laughs> I feel stronger. No, I, I'm like saying in my like, hips, my legs, like just everything. You like know? more stable. Yes, more stable. Well, and you probably I, feel more stable and, in these than heels. And I suck. Any, my balance has always not been so good. Yeah, it all comes through your feet. But since I've put these on, they should pay us. The only thing that <laughs> well, I don't they know. They should pay us talking about these shoes. The only thing that I was kind of thinking like Audrey with basketball and Joey with baseball. Like, what about specialized shoes like that? Mm. I wonder. That have maybe ankle support? No. Well, like basketball, they have high tops. Right. Because so, they're made for basketball. Width. Like, how does... How does that work with, you know, because if your be feet great. are supposed to be like this, you, but maybe they're just taller with ankle support. Yeah. That would look ridiculous. You I, imagine I wa care. water, high top water shoes. You look like an idiot on the basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking breaking your ankles and shit. But, I don't uh, know. I but like anyway, them. if you guys would like to try them out, these are, uh, they're by a company called Witten, but you don't have to get Witten. They, I mean, just look up barefoot shoes, uh, zero drop shoes or minimalist shoes. Uh, they have some for kids, but they don't have as many styles. But yes. anyway, if you guys want to get them, we got them on Amazon. I think they were like 35, 38 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you guys go to our website, opposites attract podcast.com, you'll see all of our social media there. You can follow us there. You can watch the podcast there. You can listen to it there. And you'll also see a tab that says support the show. If you're on the computer, if you hit the menu button, you'll see the support the show option. And when you hit that, it'll take you to our Amazon link. And anything that you purchase through that link doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps out the show. Yes, and you yes. also see a link to Trust Inc. And Trust Inc. is? We are a nationwide mobile notary agency um, and signing agency. We do a lot of work with law firms, title companies. So if you are looking to refinance, sell, or purchase a home, you can request Trust Inc. to be your signing agency. Yep. And if you want to go to Trust Inc. directly, you can go to trustinkusa.com. And if you're on Amazon, if you're going to pick up the shoes and you go yes, through our yes. link, uh, like I said, that'll help us out. But you can also find our merch mm -hmm. uh, like Sonia's phone case that you see here. I uh, like it. Yeah. It's on, nice. That's on Amazon. You can mm -hmm. find it by searching Opposites Attract Podcast. They have uh, phone cases for Samsung and uh, iPhone. And there's T-shirts. There's pop sockets. There's <laughs> there's all kinds of me? stuff. <laughs> so you guys can find it by going to uh, Amazon and search Opposites Attract Podcast. We're also affiliates with Libsyn who hosts our podcast. If you guys want to start a podcast, you can use promo code OAP for Opposites Attract Podcast and you'll get the rest of whatever month you sign up in for free and you'll get the next month for free for trying out Libsyn and you can get your podcast started. Ooh, I'm so good. I'm so glad that you do all the advertising. <laughs> there we that's, go. That's too much for me to remember. <laughs> Yeah, I was listening to this uh, podcast and they were talking about how to change from bad habits to good habits. OK. And he was saying that once you make the decision to change how you see yourself and how you identify like how your identity, then your habits will change. Yeah. You know, like once you know your self-worth, once you know, you know, like when you think about food, like I was telling you about losing weight, right? Like for me, yeah. it's not just, it's not about my priorities not to look good. It's to be healthy. Yeah. Right? To feel good. To feel good, to be healthy. Yeah. When we started talking about that, food is medicine. We started talking about health. We started taking vitamins, yeah. right? There's certain vitamins that I started taking that I wasn't taking, right? I started doing cupping, acupuncture, because my back, right? I wanted to start getting healthy, or I wanted to live longer so that we can enjoy our grandbabies. Yeah. You got us these fancy shoes. So our feet <laughs> can get stronger. Like everything starts to change, Yeah. right? The, when you start to love yourself, see yourself as... Who, like, I don't know. It's like almost like taking 
better care of yourself. Yeah. You start making better decisions. Yeah. You'll set yourself up for success. Like, you know, he talked about, you know, waking up in the morning, you know, and doing, starting your day, doing the right thing. Don't charge your phone on the nightstand next to your bed. Put the chargers in a different room. Charge your phone in a different room. Yeah. Whatever book you want to read, put it next to your nightstand when you wake up. If you want to focus on your, you know, your, your journaling or whatever it may be. He's like, set yourself up for success. Yeah. You know, if you plan on going to the gym the following morning, get your clothes. Have them ready. Yep. Sleep in your clothes, right? Like sleep in your gym clothes. So then you, you wake up, up like you're good to go. Brush your teeth and walk out. Right. He's yeah. like, set yourself up for success. Yeah, they say that about running too. Like if, yeah. you're, if you're planning on going for a running and you're getting started, set your, your stuff out the night before. Like your shorts, your t-shirt, your shoes, your yeah. socks, all your stuff, just put it out. And he said, knowing yourself. You got to know yourself. You got to know you. And he said, if you know, you have a sweet tooth. This is so me. That's true. This is so me. Do not buy it. Because you, I know me. And if it's not in the house, I'm good. If it's in the house, I'm going to want to eat it. Yeah. Right? But there's times where I have, like, I'll have that self-discipline. But he's like, if you know that that is a weakness. You can trick yourself. Set yourself up for success. Well, I'm just thinking about it now. There was a time in the military, and this happens with young guys a lot of times. Or, I mean, maybe guys that have been in for a long time. But in the beginning, you're not used to, like, the whole schedule. Like, you mm. can't mess around with being on time. Like, that, and I don't know, maybe it's the military. But I've always been like that. You know, I don't, I don't fuck around when it's time to do something. Like, if you got to be at a certain place for a certain mm -hmm. thing. A birthday, you didn't learn that in military? Birthday in the party. Military? No, no. Really? Like if I had to be at work at a place, I was going to be there when you asked me to be there. You know, was your dad like that? Uh, I don't think so. I remember mm -hmm. rushing a lot to his job to, <laughs> to get there on time. Uh, but I, I don't remember. But yeah. um, but the military is like that. And sometimes when people struggle with waking up early and getting to a place on time, what we would do or what they would tell us to do is if you need two alarm clocks, get two alarm clocks. Mm. But what you also can do is set the alarm clock or your phone where you're charging it across the room yes. or in the bathroom charging, but where you can hear it, but it's going to force you to get yes. up and go turn it off. Yes. It's not next to the bed where you can turn it off real quick and go back to sleep. Right. Which is what I need to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shit. I'm just something. saying, I'm just oh. trying to be real. Okay. That's so what I need to let's, do. Let's get real. Okay. So back in the day, um, Miguel and I several times, okay, several times we did this. We paid off our, our debt, like all of our debt, credit cards paid off yeah. all of it. Right. And guess what? Right back to the same shit. Ugh. It was so frustrating. I think we did it three times. Before yeah. we just got so sick of it. it we just, like we got so sick of and it. it. And it was never really out of control. Right. But it wasn't where we could just pay off the debt in one shot. Right. Yeah. So we were having we to pay to, We had to like pay some and right. then save some and then pay it down. Yes. Like it would maybe take three payments to right. pay it all down. Right. But for those three payments, like we were buckling down to right. pay everything off. This is what changed. Okay, this is what changed and this is what set us because I was thinking this is what set us up for success. When those cards, the last time when we just got sick of it, we got just sick and tired of being sick and tired and we cut those cards up. Do you remember that? We took a picture. We put it up on Facebook. You did. Yeah. And we cut those cards up and we're like, enough is enough. And since then, we have two credit cards. But they're paid off every month. No, they're, like, they're paid off twice a month. Twi I, I pay the bills. They get paid off every time I get paid. Right. I, just, I just see what it doesn't matter what the due balance, the balance due is. It, no, they just get paid yeah. off every two weeks. And I was thinking to myself, I was talking to, to my mom and and I'm like, you know, because for 
people, there's some of our family members who would make fun of us because we have the, like we've owned our cars for a very long time there yeah, and I we pay it. cash. Like we pay cash for our cars <laughs> and we buy Toyotas. Like I have a Toyota Camry and my husband has a Toyota Highlander, which was my car. And then once I got the a newer car, he takes my old cars, yeah. <laughs> right? But they're paid off. And we haven't had a car payment since I can't even remember. It's been a long time. Yeah, I can't even remember. And, I, and, and let I'm, me tell you something. Not having a car payment is ugh, it's an um, incredible I love feeling. It. Yes, it is. I love my car even more because yeah. of it. But like I was telling my mom, I'm like, hold up. I started thinking about this and I'm like, we do well financially and yeah. we can afford some nice cars. And I'm thinking, and I'm like, hold up. I'm like, mom, you have had several cars within the time that We've had Miguel and I have had our cars. A matter of fact, I started thinking about all the family members, a lot of them, and they have all, and they all have newer cars than we do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, you know and every and every time they, they show me a new car, I'm like, oh, that's nice. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> right. You know, and it's like, look, it's not that we're cheap. We're smart because that's what people say. You're fucking cheap. Listen, <laughs> you know you, what I'm saying? We truth, don't need the nicer things like we. It's the, just not where we are. It's not where we are at mentally. And we've out we've outgrown that old mentality. Well, and, and the thing is that, like, we talk about some of the success that we're having, and we're doing okay. Um, and there's people that are doing just as well as we are, or mm -hmm. even better financial, like, the money that they bring in. Mm -hmm. But financially, they're a fucking disaster. Because they're a slave to their debt. Right. That... Uh, and, no, but you are literally a slave to your debt. We are having... And that does like, not feel good. Listen. Because we've been there. Listen, It does we, not feel good. I mean, we joke around about getting older, but yes. we're not that old. No. And we have serious conversations about retiring in the near future. Like yeah. serious conversations. Yeah. And the, you can't do that when you're buried in debt. Right. Because you're going to be, you have to pay that off just to get to your starting point. Yes. And, and it's a certain type of debt. It's yeah. that revolving, you know, the credit cards, mm -hmm. the cars, that stuff. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with having the nicer things with buying the nice cars. And I love cars. I mean, I've worked on yes. fighter jets. I've, I've worked on the baddest helicopters in the world. Like, I love that stuff. I, and, and Ferraris, Lamborghinis, like that shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I fucking love it. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't tell by the cars that we drive. We <laughs> yeah. got a fucking Toyota Highlander and a Toyota Camry. Before that, I had a 92 Honda Accord. And we've told the family all the time, like, Dude, get your get rid of that shit. Get yourself an old Toyota or an old Honda and just ride it till the wheels fall off and yep. stash your cash. Yes. Yes. Because it's just it it's suffer it well back then it was just very it was not freeing. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel so free, but we've had to sacrifice. Like we really have. We've had to sacrifice and most people are not willing to sacrifice. They're not willing to give up the Starbucks. They're not willing to give then, up. Then you can't complain. All the vacations, though, for me, like where we're at, I feel that it is important for us to go. And we normally do every year. We, we go on a we vacation because those memories are priceless that we're going to have with our babies and our family. Yeah. Right. There, there's a uh, so when I help. I help Sonia with the business sometimes by dropping off for the most part. Like I'll print out paperwork for you and I go drop off stuff at, you know, FedEx and UPS. When He's you need my to. B. No. <laughs> That's just the kidding. last time. Oh, no, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. No, you I'm got this. You got oh, you got it, babe. You got it. You got oh, it. You shut up. Yeah. You yeah. can't turn yeah. that uh -huh. shit around on All me. Right. <laughs> Hey, you, <laughs> you get a shirt like say you that. Suck. You get a shirt like that. Oh, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say he's my bitch, and it, the arrow's gonna be pointing at you. I didn't fucking see this thing backfiring <laughs> on me like that. <laughs> She's gonna be like, "Oh, I left you some documents. You got it, babe." No, yeah. Fuck. But when I go to FedEx, there's one of the guys. He's an older guy with like straight white hair. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. And uh, he's got a great personality. But there was one time that we that I went in there and I was talking to him. I don't even know. Like, it's a quick transaction. 
you yeah. know, but but yeah. I go in there all the time, so I get to know and I talk to them. Yeah. But he said something about um millennials or like the younger generation. Uh huh. And he said that one of the differences between his generation and he's older, and even us and and the younger generations is that they're enjoying their life now. Mm. like while they're they're not waiting for retirement to start enjoying their life and that's not bad like they're doing stuff yes which you know you can't you can't argue with that yeah no you can't and i'm gonna tell you why but there's also a balance there there, there, you there go. has to be a yes. balance yes because one of my signers one of my old friends <laughs> um oh, he said exactly that yeah. exactly that he said don't wait until you retire to live because by the time you get to that age you don't know if you're going to have the energy or the health yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's like no you have to have a balance but we don't plan on retiring when we're like 69 no. or you know what i'm saying like 59 and the plan is retiring for us is not like not working Right. Retiring is like working for ourselves. Right. Like we are doing well enough where, mm -hmm. and it's not like we got to be balling out of control. No. It's just, we got to have enough money Freedom. where we yes. are the boss and we make our own money yes. our way. Yes. I mean, that to me is retirement. Yes. That's freedom. It's freedom. When you don't have to worry about paying the bank and you know what I'm saying? Well, and just what I'm saying is like, you look, the life you look on your hungry. Terms. Why don't you go take a lunch? Yeah. Right. Yeah. When you can get away from that, that's retirement. Yes. Yes. You know, and live, live comfortable. Like we don't have to be rich. No, though we will be, but we don't have to be. No. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll do well, but we don't have to be. But like you were saying, I think sometimes I don't know if it's habits or the ego or, or whatever that it's gets you like just stuck in that rut, making the same decisions. Yes, it's all of um, it. But sometimes, I mean, I've heard it also like, you know, you're not. It's like you're not, they, they think they have more experience because they're older. Th this is the thing. Just look at the results. There you go. Look at their fruits. Look, look at, at the results. Yes, the fruit they bear. Yes. You can't be talking to somebody about mm -hmm. jujitsu. Like it just goes right back. To, you know, if you're getting the shit beat out of you, like if you're watching somebody and they're just getting the shit beat out of them all the time mm -hmm. and they're not, you know, training and scrapping, like they're they're not good then why would you listen right yes find somebody good find somebody that's fi that's got some some of it and and it does, they don't have to have everything no. figured out perfect but if they've got something figured out you might want to look into that yes and then when you get to that level because that's what we're doing yes you know that can kind of lead us into the next thing but yeah. you know we followed certain people to get to where we are today yes and, and it's not like it, it was a combination of what different people did. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's good so ideas true. from different you people know that helped you. us yes. get to the, where we are now. Yes. Now we're getting to a point where we're trying to make moves on another level, which is scary. One yes, of the things that we're talking definitely. about, and, and we didn't mention it on the last podcast, but we were, you know, just thinking about it. like, there's nothing to hide. Uh, and we don't know, we're learning about this industry, but we're thinking about maybe purchasing an Airbnb. Yeah. And that is kind of scary, you know, because right. it's pulling out. We're, we're kind of betting on ourselves that we're going to, that we're smart enough to know what we're going to do with this money mm -hmm. because we're taking what we've, what it's taken all this time to build till now and using that to try and get to a different level. Right. Yeah. To maybe like yeah. that retirement and, and level. And it is scary because, you know, and I mean, there's so. But you can't get to these levels if you've got credit card debt, right. card, uh, car payments and all that other shit. Right. See, and the thing of it is that we're not just going to jump into it. We are going to do some research. Yeah, definitely. We know the people that we need to talk to, yep. to learn from. And your pride will kill your future. Oh, it, I'm yeah. Mm -mm. Like I am such a great student and I have always been a good student. Thing. Yes, exactly. Always that is something that student. we've been, we've been pretty good at. Yep. Like teach me, I will ask questions until I understand. And if it doesn't feel right, I'm not going to do it. Right. Like you're going to have some fear 
Yeah. But then you got to question, where is this fear coming from? And I know where my fear is coming from. My fear is coming from that poor, my uh, being nine years old or young, that poor girl, the poor yeah. little the girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's where my fear comes from. Yeah. But I am aware of that. Yeah. So it, it it's taken time for me to break free from that. But I had to be aware of who that little girl was and what she went through. Yeah. In order to get to where I am today. And I'm still healing that young little girl, my young self. You right. Gotta, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But like you were saying that you were like, you're a great student. Fuck, man. I'm like, I, this is one of those things. Like I was talking on the last podcast. I get so side. We get sidetracked all the time. But you know how like you're listening. And it's one of those things where I'm like thinking about what I'm trying to say while you're talking. And then I'm like, are we still talking about? what we were talking about, but you know how you were saying that like you're a good student, right? Mm -hmm. And like you will ask questions yes. and all that. And that, I mean, is that's how you become successful. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is by asking questions like there's, you got to put your ego aside. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a recently I was training with, with this guy, like in jujitsu, I'm a blue belt. And I, you know, like I always joke about myself, like that I'm not that good or whatever. And it's, mm -hmm. it's just one of those things, but I know that I could handle myself. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to sit here and be like, Oh, you know, I should be in, in the fucking world tournaments or whatever, but no, I mean, but I'll, I'll be okay. But it doesn't mean that you can't learn from a white belt. Right. And there was one guy that we were training and he was a white belt. Mm -hmm. but guess what he did some wrestling and he knew some shit mm -hmm. and when we were going like he was trying to show me something and i'm like no dude fucking let like tell me yes let me know yeah let me know like you yes. could be brand new in the class i don't give a shit yes like let me know how to yes. do it oh this is what i wanted to bring up joey and basket and baseball mm -hmm. so in baseball i was helping coach the kids right mm -hmm. and we're setting them up so that they can hit the ball and i've been kind of athletic my whole life like i've always played sports i've always done stuff and one thing that i did was i played racquetball and the technique in racquetball which i do know and if i do know something i will mm -hmm. like be like yeah i've looked it up in racquetball the technique is when you're going to hit the ball you pick your your elbow up and the racket is down and that's where you generate your power because it's like a whip you whip it and I was kind of thinking, it real you good. whip it real good. Bun, but dun, 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 <laughs> but uh, <laughs> in baseball, I was thinking like it just kind of when I would hold a bat, it would feel more natural for me to pick my elbow up when mm -hmm. I'm holding the bat. So I don't know why or maybe I thought that that was the right way to do it. And I'm telling the kids on the team like, hey, pick your elbow up a little bit. And, you know, that way you get a little more power when you're swinging. Well, on Joey's team, there's a dad who his kids are in real baseball training. Yeah. Like they get lessons from professionals like and and you can see it. Like they're, you know, they they play well. And during one of the practice or during one of the games, one of the kids told me, "My dad told me not to pick my elbow up." <laughs> yeah. And I told him, "Great." I was like, "Do what your dad told you." I was like, "Your dad might know better than me." And then That's one awesome. of the other dads. That's good. And then this yes. dad that the one that got the, you know, he has his kids in real baseball training. He told me the same thing. Mm. And he was like, yeah, they actually tell you. But he wasn't like being a dick about yeah, it. He yeah, was just no. kind of like letting yeah. me know. He's like, yeah, you know, and he was just showing like telling me about like the different things, squashing the bug with the back foot. But you're supposed to keep your elbows down and you do it like this. You actually some people train with this. And I'm like, whatever you say, right, whatever yeah. you say, that's how we need to do it. Mm hmm. You know, unless I hear it from a major league player or somebody in yes. between, like if you're a college, you know, or then I'm going to listen to what you're saying. But this guy obviously has, you know, more experience than I do in this thing. So whatever you say, I'm going to listen to. See stuff like this. These are great conversations to have with the kids. So Audrey and I just had a conversation like that on the way home from the store. Yeah. She was talking about a friend that she has in fifth grade and that the fifth grader, she, she didn't think that she could have learned anything from the fifth grader, but the fifth grader taught, and I can't remember what we were talking about. And I told her, Adriana, it does not matter. It doesn't matter if they're older or younger. I'm like, you can learn from both. Yeah. And I told her, I'm like, I've learned to be 
a better mom through you guys. Joey has taught me patience. And so have you. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like our kids are here to teach us. And I think I mentioned that like on the last podcast, like they will show you what it is that you need to work on. But not only that, but we've also learned from younger parents than us. Yes. Yeah. You know, parents that have younger kids that don't have as like you can learn from anybody. It doesn't matter. Yes. And that's why I don't get like, and I don't know if it's a Mexican thing, but it's like, you know, the older generation, they feel that the kids are their kids. Like, who are you to tell me? I'm the mom. I'm the dad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, but, but look at the results. I don't, I don't understand. Look at the results. I understand you are the mom. You are the dad. Well, we had a situation with like there, there still needs to be that respect, that parental respect. Yes. Yes. You know, but it doesn't mean that you can't learn from the kids. Right. Yeah. Just like today, we had a little issue with Audrey and I had to let her know like, hey, like we can talk about all kinds of stuff Mm -hmm. and of course I can learn, but you still got to keep that respect. Right. Even in the gym. So like we're working out, I'll see someone doing something, you know, and there's these little tricks, like these little tricks, pinky out, right? Like pinky out, you're working on your back. Thumbs up, arm bar. Yep. Exactly. There's these little tricks, these little things that you are unaware of, but will totally change your workout if you just learn this. Yep. You know, so it's like just humble yourself and know that you don't know everything, but you can sure learn a lot from those that are around you. Right. Good and bad. You know, and I think that that's. But we do well. <laughs> well, no. And, and like you were saying, when it comes to like these investments, like we're, we're oh, taking yes. the same approach, the same exactly. mentality into these things. Yes. Like we have friends that are in different positions than than we're in. They've already made these moves to different levels. Yes. So whatever, like the friends that we trust, the ones that we know, if they tell us something, we're going to really listen to what they're saying. Yes. You know, especially if you have the results from what you've done. Yes. Yeah. You know, so it's not like if they're like, hey, you know, don't worry about that. You need to stop. Like you need to change the way you're, yep. you're thinking because you're thinking small or, or mm-hmm. whatever. Like or this is the reason why we do it this way. Yes. All right. Let's go. Let's yep. do it. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? Not only that, but, you know, people tend to compare themselves to other people. Right. Yeah. I mean, social media, those of you that if you open social media and you find yourself getting depressed because you see everybody else doing, I don't know, going on vacation and, you know, reaching goals and doing this and doing that. But you don't know what happens behind closed doors. It's like stop comparing yourself to other people and start looking within. Right. Like start start working on you like and I and that that's the biggest, I think. And the longest journey in life is getting to know who you are, like what makes you tick, what makes, what puts that fire in your belly, what's going to make you get to the next level, you know? And it's like so many people complain and complain about where they're at, but it's like, obviously you haven't gone through enough, right? You haven't gone through enough because once enough is enough, then you will make the decision to change that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like with our debt, enough is enough. I'm sick of this. I yeah, am I'm, sick, I'm of, sick this. of racking this up all the time. So it's like, stop trying to forget about the pain that you're feeling because the pain is, is trying to wake you up. Whatever that is, if you're overweight and you're, and, and, and you're not happy where, where you're at and you're feeling depressed and you're feeling this and you're feeling that it's a feeling that's trying to make you make a different decision It's trying to move you to do better. But so many people don't get it because they tend to numb off those feelings with TV, alcohol, sex, porn. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. try to cover up the hurt because they don't want to feel that instead of trying to figure out why am I feeling like this and getting so sick of it that they make, they decide they make a decision and then they take action. Yeah. You know? And it's like, be aware, just be aware. What are you scared of? Why are you scared of that? And if you're really sick of it, then 
look at people that are doing what you want to do. Yeah. And if you're tired where you're at and you're comfortable, you know, and the shift needs to happen and you know that you are supposed to be doing something more than what you're doing, then it's time to look into that. Yeah. And the one thing that I feel that I haven't done enough of is invest in myself. You know, like, yes, I listen to podcasts and, and I do this and I do that. But it's like, I think in order for us to get to the next level, we need to hire a coach, like a business that coach. Be. That may be. You know, yeah. like we need to get another addition to our team. And they always talk about there, that. There right? are things that we do need help with. So yeah. we'll figure, and, and that may be one of those things, but just like this. This is how you get to retirement, like real retirement, yep. not retirement when you're too old to do anything. Right. Yeah. So we're going to figure it out and you guys will be along for the ride. Yay. So thank you guys for being with us. Make sure you guys what? go it's to opposites attract podcast.com. <laughs> uh, make sure that you uh, share it with the people that you know. Like I said, you can watch it and listen to it there. Uh, you can find our merch on Amazon by searching Opposites Attract Podcast. You can go to yes, Trust yes. Inc. by going to TrustINKUSA.com. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for listening to Opposites Attract Podcast. Where we get better together. together. Bye. Bye.